Good day, learners. I am Maestra Celine, and welcome to my Taglish Mathematics video tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss evaluating functions. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to evaluate functions. How do we evaluate a function? So to evaluate a function is simply to substitute or replace a certain variable with a given number or expression. In this case, we refer this as the x variable. We then write f of a to show that f is being evaluated at a for some a in the domain of f. Let's solve example number 1. If f of x equals 4x minus 5, evaluate each. For letter A, we have f of 3, meaning the value of x is 3. Letter B, f of negative 2. The value of x is negative 2. Letter C, f of 0. The value of x is 0. So to evaluate the function, we just substitute or replace the given values of x to the function. So for letter A, we have our function is f of x equals 4x minus 5. So the value of x is 3. So we just change x here into 3. So f of x became f of 3 equals 4x. 4x means 4 times x. So 4 times the value of x, which is 3, minus 5. Solve. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Bring down minus 5. Simplifying it further, 12 minus 5 equals 7. So f of 3 now equals 7. Letter B. Still our function is f of x equals 4x minus 5. Let's evaluate if f of negative 2. So let's just change x here into negative 2. So f of x became f of negative 2. So 4x, 4 times the value of our x is negative 2 minus 5. Solve 4 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. Bring down minus 5. Negative 8 minus 5 is equal to negative 13. So, f of negative 2 is equal to negative 13. And for letter C, the value of our x is 0. Let's just change x here into 0. So f of x became f of 0. So 4x, 4 times the value of x is 0. Just bring down negative or minus 5. Solve 4 times 0 is equal to 0. Minus 5. So 0 minus 5 is equal to negative 5. So, f of 0 is equal to negative 5. Let's have example number 2. If h of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3, evaluate h. a, h of negative 3. The value of x is negative 3. Letter b, h of positive 2. The value of x is positive 3. 2. C, h of a plus 1. So the value of x here is a plus 1. So for letter a, we have our function is h of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. So palitan lamang natin yung mga x dito ng negative 3. 
So, h of x became h of negative 3 equals x squared. So, yung x natin is negative 3 squared minus 2x. So, 2 times yung x natin which is negative 3. Then, just copy or bring down plus 3. Solve. Negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9. Negative 2 times negative 3 is equal to positive 6. Then just copy or bring down plus 3. Simplifying it further, 9 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to 18. Thus, h of negative 3 is equal to 18. Then for letter B, we have still our function is h of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. So, palitan lang natin yung mga x dito ng positive 2. So, h of x became h of positive 2. Equals x squared, ang x natin is positive 2 squared. Minus 2x, so minus 2 times yung x nga natin na positive 2. Then, just copy or bring down plus 3. Solve. 2 square is equal to 4. Negative 2 times positive 2 is equal to negative 4. Then just copy or bring down plus 3. So simplifying it further, 4 minus 4 is 0. So 0 plus 3 is positive 3. So h of 2 is equal to positive 3. And for letter C, we have our function is h of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. So, palitan lamang natin yung ating mga x dito ng a plus 1. So, yung h of x, yung x dito, palitan natin ng a plus 1. So, we have h of a plus 1 equals x squared. So, yung x natin, palitan natin ng a plus 1. Then, is square. Minus 2x. Minus 2 times yung x nga natin na a plus 1. Then, just copy or bring down plus 3. Solve. a plus 1 is square. a plus 1 is square means a plus 1 plus a plus 1 times a plus 1. 1. So, to solve this easily, multiply first term to first term. So, ang first term natin ay a. So, a times a is equal to a square. Then, next, para sa middle term natin ay i-multiply ang 2 times yung first term na a times yung second term na 1. So, 2 times a a is 2a times 1 is positive 2a. Then for the last term ng sagot ay multiply second term to second term. So ang second term natin ay 1. So 1 times 1 is equal to positive 1. Thus a plus 1 square is equal to a square plus 2a plus 1. Next, Negative 2 times the quantity a plus 1. So, using distributive property, negative 2 times a is negative 2a. Negative 2 times positive 1 is equal to negative 2. Then, just copy or bring down plus 3. Simplifying it further, let's combine similar Terms. Pag sinabing similar terms, pareho yung variable at yung kanyang exponent. So, we have a square. So, as you can see, walang kapareho yung a square natin. So, just bring down a square. Next, 2a. So, as you can see, yung positive 2a natin ay may kasimilar siya which is negative 2a. Pareho sila ng variable which is a at the same time pareho ang exponent nila na 1. So, positive 2a minus 2a is 0. 
So, hindi na natin kailangan ilagay yung zero dito sa ating sagot. Next ay, ang mga natira na lamang ay positive 1, negative 2, and positive 3, which is pare-parehong constant. So, positive 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is equal to positive 2. Thus, age of a plus 1 is equal to a squared plus 2. Now, let's have example number 3. If g of x is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 1, find a g of negative 1. The value of x is negative 1. b g of positive 4. The value of x is positive 4. And c g of 0. The value of x here is 0. Solving for letter A, we have our function is g of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, yung A natin, ang value ng x is negative 1. So, palitan lamang natin yung mga x natin dito ng negative 1. So, g of x, yung x dito ay naging negative 1. So, g of negative 1 equals Yung x natin, which is negative 1, plus 1. Over, x ulit, ang x natin is negative 1, minus 1. Solve, negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Over, negative 1 minus 1 is equal to negative 2. Simplifying it further, 0 over negative 2 or 0 divided by negative 2 is equal to 0. Take note, 0 divided by any number is equal to 0. Thus, g of negative 1 is equal to 0. For letter B, we have Still, the function is g of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, our x is positive 4. So, let's just change all x here into positive 4. So, g of x became g of positive 4. Equals our x is positive 4 plus 1 over x, again our x is 4 minus 1. Solve 4 plus 1 equals 5 over 4 minus 1 equals 3. Simplify 5 over 3 or 5 divided by 3 is 1, 2 thirds. So, G of positive 4 is equal to 5 over 3 or 1, 2 thirds. And for letter C, our X is 0. So, palitan lamang natin yung ating mga X dito ng 0. So, g of x became g of 0. Then, palitan natin tong dalawang x ng 0. So, x plus 1 became 0 plus 1. x minus 1 became 0 minus 1. Solve, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. Simplify, 1 over negative 1 or 1 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Thus, g of 0 is equal to negative 1. Now, let's have the last example. The velocity 
denoted as capital letter V in meter per second of a ball thrown upward T seconds, where T here is the time, after the ball was thrown is given by the function V of T is equal to 20 minus 9.8 T. Calculate V of 0 and V of 1. So, yung value ng ating T is 0 and 1. So, for V of 0, let us just change T into 0. So, given the function, V of T equals 20 minus 9.8, palitan lamang natin yung T ng 0. So, V of T became V of 0. Equals, just bring down 20 minus 9.8 times yung t natin, which is 0. So, using PEMDAS, unain natin yung 9.8 times 0 na isolve. So, 9.8 times 0 is 0. Then, just bring down 20. Solving it further, 20 minus 0 is equal to 20. Thus, V of 0 equals 20 meter per second. So, for V of 1, palitan lang natin yung T ng 1. So, V of T became V of 1 equals 20 minus 9.8 times yung T natin which is 1. Using PEMDAS, let's multiply first 9.8 and 1. So, Negative 9.8 times 1 is equal to negative 9.8. So, just bring down 20. Simplify, 20 minus 9.8 is equal to 10.2. Thus, V of 1 is equal to 10.2 meter per second.